Hello my loyal companions, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a pistol only Seagrid gameplay, the playstyle I prefer with Seagrid, but I'm going to be really honest with you. As this game goes on, it kind of takes a weird turn. For whatever reason, Rogue Company's felt really strange recently, the past couple days, and I think this is just sort of the weird little lull period as we build up into Season 2. I discuss a lot in this video about Rogue Company in its current state, I talk a lot about or sort of just some of the problems that are happening, some of the good things as well. And there are a lot of questions that I asked throughout that I would love for you guys to answer in the comments. So make sure you do go through, listen to the video, answer the questions down below, and just let me know what you think of the current state of Rogue Company. At the very least though, there's a really cracked secret game for you to watch in the background that I think you enjoy going over the pistol playstyle for secret. If you do want to enjoy the video though, guys, I just want to see daily educational Rogue Company content. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel. But for now, let's get into it. Alright guys, we're loading up in to Factory as our ranked solo queue game today. Of course, it's not part of the solo queue series, but this is a gameplay I want to show you because I said I would is a secret gameplay. Now, secret is, I feel, a very underrated rogue. I kind of put out one of the videos like this this season of me playing secret with the pistol only strategy just because I think she's so strong. And this playstyle of playing her honestly is just like really good and underused. Especially going into Season 2 when Secret is going to have melee immunity when she has a shield out. As in, like, you can't punch through her shield is essentially what I mean by that. She's going to be very, very interesting. So we'll try and play her, get a good angle on both halves here and see how this goes. But yeah, Secret, Secret is also a rogue who I think I'm actually, like, surprisingly good with. Considering I don't really find an opportunity to play her that often. Bomb has been dropped. I'm expecting a Lancer flank, which is why I'm posting up here. There, I gotta go. Yeah, I need to go. Lancer could outwrap me here, but... Are we really getting, like, hard pushed? Okay. I have a few different options in terms of what I want to do here. Wait for my shield is definitely one that I'm leaning towards. Oh, she's dipped kind of far back. Okay, so I can sort of push onto her now. Actually got wrecked there. I'm not even gonna lie about it. My shield felt like it was not out long enough as I thought it was. Damn. GG's, GG's, that guy smacked. He kind of bullied my team. Why are you shooting my body? I am kind of confused. Uh, let's move on with the round, my boy. Unfortunately, if this gets posted to YouTube, you look like an ass. Awkward. Awkward. Hmm. Damn. He three tapped me as well. He had really good shots in that. I just uh, absolutely missed up my messed up my um hip fire on the warrant there. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. So as you guys know, I do not buy a primary weapon on Secret. I'm also going to opt for the double stims because that sort of survivability is just insane. I just really felt like my shield like did not last very long at all. I maybe she could have just played bomb, honestly. I could have just sat behind the cover and baited her out, honestly. But I was just... I had my shield. I got a bit cocky. I'm not going to lie about it. What happened to one of their teammates? Because I got two down. So what happened to the last one? Did she get like blown up by a teammate or something? I would love to say bomb if I could... Uh... If I could, because I am, you know, secret after all. Okay, how are we playing this? I think one pushed up there, yeah. I accidentally... That was huge. There's a... I'm gonna need a little bit more from you. Oh, I need a little bit more from myself. Hey, my teammates, stop body blocking me, honestly. 
Lance a shotgun on me. My least favorite shotgun in the entire game. 100%. Oh, it. And of course, she's got my bomb again. I'm going to out 1v1 again. 45 seconds left. I think she's behind that further one. Here we go. We're going to find out, aren't we? No, she's not. Oh, that's unfortunate. No, no. I didn't realize she still had a... Oh, sheesh. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. A lot of people ask, like, why that sort of stuff, like, shoot my boy, doesn't bother me. It just does. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Like, why would it bother me? <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, okay. I know a lot of people get tilted by that sort of thing. My general rule is if you teabag me, I'm going to come back at you with a vengeance. Not happened yet, but hey. I said it. It's really not one of those sort of things that bothers me. That's a good question. What, I, 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 I like that for the comments of this video. What, what, how do you guys respond to, like, teabagging and that sort of, like, disrespect? Like, you chill with it? Do you not care? Does it get on your nerves? I know a lot of people are different and stuff. Like, different people have different, like, opinions and that sort of thing. Also, I swear that Dima ulted twice. I guess it must have been our Dima ulted. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm just going to need them to stop dying instantly to this girl. And we're probably okay. I might be able to plant for their spawn, honestly. Okay, this is going to be a bit awkward, I think. This is where having some sort of AR would be kind of nice. Okay. Nice. Ooh, baby, the warrant feels good today. I don't know what it is about it. It just feels like it's hitting. Like, honestly, it's just hitting hard. Hey, so this currently feels like a little bit of a 1v2 is kind of how I say this. A lot of times I would opt for lifeline here. Um, but given the way my team is playing, how they're just dying and instant thirsted really hard, it's not worth me picking up lifeline, honestly. I may as well stick with life drain and then maybe pull off a few more clutch scenarios because I feel like that's what I'm going to have to do. But you can also see the power of the warrant here, especially when you have that shield as a little bit more protection. Having the warrant can be a, enough of a beamer of a gun to kind of outgun anybody. I want to slow play. I just really don't want my guys to keep dying over on A and then mid and highway and stuff. Like, that's saddening. Is that Kestrel? That's Dahlia. Never mind. Okay, so she's over there. I could probably kill her with a nade, but she's linked, so it's not really worth it. I'm about to die. Oh, never mind. I'm better. Dahlia was over here. Okay. Dade being there was like one of my biggest fears. Nice kill, but okay. 2v1. Hopefully she doesn't overextend for this. Hey, my teammate did something. Happy days. Might be a 2v2. I was feeling pretty like confident in that in that, uh, the fight when the Kestrel came around the corner with the Lancer as well. Even if my Semtex didn't do anything there, I still feel like I would have been okay. Uh, Tenacity is actually a really big option here. Probably a melee weapon too, or Blast Radius could be good. Go go Blast Radius. Oof. Don't need a primary weapon to slap your enemies. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, it's definitely like a one and a half v2 because I don't know what this matchmaking is. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. It's comedy. This kind of comedy. But yeah, I love Secret. I think she's one of the best designed rogues in the game. Uh, I absolutely love her design. Hey, let me have it. Let me have it. Let me have it. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Just let me have it. Snap was interesting. Who is that? I'm nervous we get like flanked here, honestly. Which is why I'm being a bit more patient. I hear someone. They are over here. Oh, hello.
I can just plant here safe, I think. Okay. I'm just gonna plant behind here. I feel like my mouth is significantly more open than it normally is. As long as she holds my, my corner there, I'm okay. This is a pretty good spot, actually. So we're in a 3v3 right now. I might die here. Nah, I would. Hit fire too good. Hit fire too good. Woo! Jeez. Okay, I found my shot. I found my shot. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. The sound feels so muffled. I don't know why. I even got my volume on max. Okay, at this point, I'm going to grab lifeline. Maybe I get a cheeky res off. Going to grab my axe. Going to grab one upgrade in it. We got two more rounds. So I imagine I'm going to really like overkill my uh, economy here. But hey. But yeah, this is generally the way I play secret. I mean, if you pick up a primary weapon the way I pick up a primary weapon, like, primary weapons are always going to be, like, good for you, but you don't need to invest. I prefer investing in these perks and things, which is why I opt for the pistol only uh, play style on secret, because that's just why I prefer to invest my money into. So they're, like, both flanking. I might be able to actually do something real cheeky over here. We'll see, we'll see. Oh! Not that cheeky. I don't need to stim here. See, see, I prefer my Lancer because my Lancer comes with an SMG. Oh! I got there you go. I don't know how those aren't hitting, but they're not, so. I don't know the, where the Kestrel is, which causes me concern. I feel like she's got enough of an ego to try and challenge us here, so I'm just gonna uh, do what I can to survive, honestly. 45 seconds remaining. I have to shield through her. Oh, gotta move. Shield herself, I think. Don't think she died from it though. Live for me, girl. Live for me. Live for me. She's on the struggle bus right here, dude. She's doing well just to survive. And then we get this last one. You know what? Give me the Riptide. You, you want to see a gunny? I'll show you a gunny, baby. Let's go. Never mind. My guy's got me. The 2v2 split is real. Let's go. I'm gonna be honest, this is one of the most fun games of Rogue Company I've had in a while. Like, genuinely just fun. It's not that I'm not finding the game fun, but I've had, like, some really, like, awkward recordings. I've been trying to do another, um, uh, ro uh gun comparison video for you guys. I particularly want to look at Dallas, and I'm either getting, like, I mean, I'm just, like, 8-0-ing or 8-1-ing or 8-2-ing, so we're not getting, like, both sides of the guns, which is really sad. Even though I'm having, like, really good games. Or sometimes the other way around, and we just get, like, smoked, like, we have a DC or AFK. And that's kind of what I've noticed with Rogue Company the past couple of days. Like, let me know, again, also in the comments, what has been your experience with, like, games recently? I feel like strikeouts become overly sweaty. And... Demo and Ranked have just become, like, weird. Weird little ego fests. I don't want to push through here, honestly. I hate that demo. It was really not great. Oh, hello. Oh, tenacity doesn't do anything anymore. But he should trade that out. Yeah, we should. That should get traded out. Eh, maybe not. Oh, they have an AFK now. And that's kind of what I mean, like, now we're getting AFKs and things, it's like the Dardia, the Dardia stuck, tried to stick the res and then went AFK? Is that what happened? Like, this is what has been, like, messing up my recordings and stuff, like, and, and things like this is like, I'll have, like, an okay game, like, this is kind of balanced, I think, and then, um, and then, where am I going, where's Secret? And then, um, 
someone will go AFK, or someone will just leave, or someone will block their teammates, it's happened a bunch, and that, that's what I've noticed with Rogue Company, um, the past couple of days, it's been, it's been annoying, it's been annoying, guys, I just want to record some fun gameplay for you, because I'm having, again, when I'm actually playing the game, I'm having a lot of fun with it, but trying to, like, record for you has proven just more and more difficult, because people are being more and more difficult, but I've actually got a really good, uh, video coming for you guys tomorrow, you want a little, a little spoiler what tomorrow's video is going to be, it's going to be actually ranking the best game modes in Rogue Company, uh, so I put a tweet today, as of recording this, about what people's favorite like limit time modes have been within Rogue Company. Because I think season two with King of the Hill and Capture the Flag and potentially TDM and things is going to be really, really good. So Come with me. Oh, I wanted just to reminisce about the season zero and season one. Um, I like. Season zero and season one limit time modes and kind of like tell you what I thought of them. Because overall, like I would say I've been some, some of them are just a bit too quirky for me. Uh, but yeah, okay, I won't go over too much, but I'll explain more in tomorrow's video. That's going to be tomorrow. It's going to be like a tier list of limited time modes. I hope you guys are going to enjoy that because um, I, I, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to making it. It's going to be a lot of fun. I actually, uh, I asked Krimar uh, for a list of all the limited time modes just to make sure I got them all. And uh, there was some, some fun stuff in there. I die here. I should, why did I not have my shield out? I'm a dum dum. I'm a big, big dum dum. Big, big dum dum on me. But I have my shield out there. If I had my shield out, I had to kill two of them. Now I need my team in a 3v3, the dreaded 3v3, which is really now a 1v2. Find it and it. So I assume I'm playing with very new players, like all across the board. This Lancer maybe not, her movement's okay, but I still wish we had levels again. Some of this video turned to me to ranting about Rogue Company. This turned into like Rogue like, oh good old, good old, good old, good old, good old. It's turned into like a second episode of Rogue <laughs> with some secret gameplay. So why should I have done differently? Otherwise I should have had out the shield. She could win this, like there's definitely a possibility here. That guy just sprayed. Oh, no, you don't win this. You don't win this. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. That was my bad for going down so early. And miss, kind of missing my Semtex. I didn't mean to stick him, which was actually probably my bad. I probably should have gone for the stick. Like, that would have probably been better. So, that's my bad, my bad. So, yeah. We'll treat this video as, as, as a wider comment section. What do you guys think about the State of Road Company right now? Are you looking for... I mean... I feel like everyone's looking forward to season two. Maybe that's why the game has been like a little bit of a, a rut the last uh, couple of days, a uh, week or so. It's just because everyone's so excited for season two because season two looks so damn good. And maybe that's where we're at. Maybe that's where we're at. Okay, I'm going to try and end this game out in the next three rounds for you. 3v4 is not something I want to lose uh, for sure. So He's actually nading. That's a good nade if that hits. No, we're getting cashed all in and stuff. And I'm going to demon roll in peace. There's nobody that hit me. Hit me now, hit now, 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 no, there's no way we run out, there's no way we run out there. I'm, down. I'm just gonna just try and call to her. Stig me, you. I don't have stims. I don't lose those fights. That was close though. 4 HP was like very, very close. You know I don't lose those. Great stick by my Lancer. You yeah, props to the Lancer. La bim Bim, if you watch my videos and you happen to watch this video, say hi in the comments. I'll say hi back. I respond to every comment usually anyway, but like, say hi. No, get yourself noticed. Because you're doing good. That was a really good revive. That was a really, really good revive. Uh, in terms of also just some upgrade pathing there, obviously Life Jam was a really big option. I go for um, the double stims. I think stims offer you a lot more in terms of recoverability, outplay potential than something like um, Life Drain does. So that is why I opted for, life, for stims over Life Drain. Uh, a little secret tip there for you. But 100%, you have to be good with the warrant. If you're not good enough with the warrant, then you can't run this pistol in play style. I'd recommend the, uh, the D40C as your weapon of choice, honestly. Hey, bye. I'm not getting demo this time. Okay, and graded almost. So I should have just bought Blimmin. Tenacity, I swear. I'm always getting nervous even a Seagrid rolling into a shotgun. Sheesh, I feel like my shots are on point with this warrant though right now. Like, jeez. 
I also, and I'll say this again, this, this has become a discussion video. I have huge video ideas for season two. Like, there's a, there's certain revamped videos I want to do. There's certain new videos. I guess they're most technically new I've got in store. I'm not going to spoil them too much. But like, there's a lot of great content that I've got ready for season two, which again, maybe is why this like little rut the last week or two has been because, or the next two weeks going to be because I'm just, I'm so excited, but I need season two to hit. I need particularly, I guess this is the closest spot you get, the new time to kills to come in for some of the videos that I really want to do. So I'm going to just aggro this, honestly, like full aggro it. They've got to have just like flown through here. Oh, I got it though. If I had shield, I would just shield defuse here, honestly. Oh, I lost that. I just, I, I was mixing between ADS and non ADS too much. Stick me, stick me. No, revive me. I have shield and stim, shield and stim, shield and stim, shield and stim, shield and stim. And here we go. Oh, I got you, baby! And this is what I would have done before, by the way, was this. And then she, she just can't do anything at this point. That she has a roll. She ain't doing anything to stop me here. Nice. Cool. End of the game. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this little more discussion-y video. It turned into far more of a discussion than I intended it to be. Uh, I really did <laughs> go into the attention. I was showing a really nice secret pistol gameplay, but I feel like we got the best of both worlds there, right? You got the pistol gameplay. You got to see some secret action because, again, I love this rogue. But you also got to see uh, a little bit of a discussion about rogue companies, state rogue companies. So make sure you answer those questions in the comments down below. And just tell me how you feel about rogue company generally, guys. I'm very interested to know you guys' thoughts of the current state of rogue company. We have just hit 2,000 RP in rogue. So we are cracking through this season. 4.3k damage on me. Glory 6 while slightly toxic. Hit a good 3.7. I'll respect you for that, my boy. Uh, Bim Bim, good job. I'm proud of you. Unfortunate about their guy going AFK, but hey, just row company right now. It's okay. It just happens. Guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know that with us down in the comments below. And uh, guys, I'll be streaming. Of course, streams always happen. Giveaway, big giveaway today. As I've seen this video, big giveaway on stream today. I'm giving away like 14 codes for like Kawhi Jetpack, the Go Emote, and also the uh, Tiger, Tiger Queen secondary wrap. So a bunch of giveaways over on Twitch, basically as you watch this video, if you're watching it as it comes live. So Go head over there afterwards. It'll be fun. We'll hang. We'll do it. Let's go. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Okay, then, guys. That takes us to the end of the video. And if you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also come follow me on twitch.tv slash raddargaming to see live gameplay commentaries, guides, Q&As, and playing with you. All the links you're going to need are down in the description below. But for now, I hope you have a fantastic day. And remember, be loyal, be brave, be relentless. I'll catch you in the next video.